All right. Um, let us bow for a word of prayer, and uh, then we'll get into what I believe the Lord has given me to share with you on this morning. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we praise you for another awesome day. Your word decrees that this is the day that the Lord has made. And our response to that is to, re to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity, Lord God, to see uh, this magnificent land of the Holy Land with our own eyes and to be in the place of, uh, of history with so much things that we've read about in the past. Now we actually get to uh, partake of it uh, in, in real time. And so we thank you, Father, for each and every one that has assembled themselves here today. Yes. Father, we bless you and we honor you for this wonderful and beautiful day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So I, I, I want to give you what I believe the Lord has uh, placed in my heart, and I know we have a lot of historians um, that, that will probably come behind and, and give you all of the detail uh, of the history uh, of what took place here. Uh, as we see the, the, the Gideon Spring, uh, this is the place of the testing of the water test. And, and I just want to encourage you and to let you know that for each and every one of us, just like uh, those men that were tested at the waters many, many years ago, you and I are being tested with a water test each and every day as we take our journey and I'll walk in the Lord. And so I want to read from you from the book of Judges, uh, beginning at uh, chapter 7, beginning at verse number 16. And I'll be reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible. And, and God has given me a particular word that that will, will I, I hope and I believe will penetrate the hearts of each and every one of us. Judges chapter 7, beginning at verse 16, it says, And he, meaning Gideon, divided the 300 men into three companies. And he put into the hands of all of them trumpets and empty pitchers with torches inside of the pitchers. And he divided the 300 men into three companies, and he put a trumpet in every man's hand with empty pitchers and the lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me and do likewise. And behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that as I do, so shall you do. When I blow with a trumpet, I and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpets also on every side all of the camp and say the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And so Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle of the watch, and they had but newly set the watch. They blew the trumpets, and they break the pitchers, and, and that were and, and the pitchers that were in their hands and the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their left <coughs> hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow with all and they cried the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. I want to bring you to a point of sometimes we overlook a lot of different things. And it's the small things in scripture, a lot of times, is what God wants to penetrate into our hearts. And we read a brighter passage and we, we want to go to the to the big things. And it's the small things that God really wants to bring to our attention so that we can learn and so that we can grow. All they had were trumpets, pitchers, and torches. And I want, you, I want you to let that settle in your heart because it's the small things that we already have among us that God wants to use. And every last one of us here today are armed with trumpets, pitchers, and torches. Come on. Now let me explain what the trumpets, the pitchers, and the torches are. Got to put my eyes back on. Give me a second. <laughs> One day I'm going to graduate the contacts. It'll happen. Trumpets, pitchers, and torches. All right? Say that with me. Trumpets, pitchers, and torches. Now the trumpets, they represent the sound of praise. Amen. As we're going into battle, as we're doing what God has called us to do, 
The trumpets are the representation of the sound of praise. The breaking of the pitchers or the breaking of the jars represents the, the anointing coming through oh and right. destroying everything that the enemy had planned for the people of Gideon That's and, right. and for, for the army of Israel. And so the breaking, the shattering of the jars was the sound of the shattering of, 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 of the plans of the enemy That's through right. the anointing of God. That's Amen. good. The torches represent or lanterns represents what? Light. light. And what does light represent? Who is the light for us? Jesus, Jesus. Christ. That's Amen. right. So all we have and all that we need in life to complete the mission and the plans of God there he goes. is to have a trumpet. That's right. Pictures yes, sir. and a torch. Amen. Oh, That's glory right. to God. I pray that this is settling in your heart because see, Come on. because see, it's it's not just a, a lantern now. It's not just a trumpet now. It's not just right. a picture. That's but right. We see it from the spiritual. Amen. That the trumpet is a sound of praise. So every time That's we right. praise God, my come on. My God. Oh God, hallelujah. We give Here we go. The glory yes, sir. as we go into battle. We give Him the you, glory Lord. as we step forth in confidence and in faith in yes. what He's called us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. The anointing, the shattering yes, of sir. Satan's plans over your life. Thank you, God. Come oh, on. God, hallelujah. How many yes. times have, have you been going through some things and all of a sudden the anointing of God upon your life Come on. shattered no, no. the plans of Satan? That's right. Oh, God. Oh, Preach. God, hallelujah. That's the sound of the shattering of the jars, the shattering of the pictures. Come on. Amen. Amen. Over your life, God anointing you, praise God, to go forth and do what he's called you to do. That way you'll be able to accomplish it. And the torches, the lanterns. Oh, God, we've been led by the light. The light Amen. He's the one that's showing us the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah, oh, God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the light of the world. Yes, sir. And so every time from this day forward, as we go forward, amen, you ought to know in your heart and in your spirit that all you need is a torch. That's right. Pictures and a lantern. Come on. Hallelujah. And, and so with that, it's the small thing. With that, what God has said to Gideon many, many years ago right here, he's saying to you and I today, he's saying, Joe, I can win with you. That's right. I got it. I got it. He's preaching. No matter how afraid or how, what are your lack of faith or what are you stumbling over, what are you struggling with? Come on. He has called you. He's saying, you, I can win with you. Amen. Amen. Preach. Gideon, I can Preach, win son. with you. That's right. I, I know I know you feel like you're the least, uh, uh, least less than everybody else. Mm -hmm. I know you feel like your ministry is not as big and not as powerful Come on. as everyone else. I know you're not as tall as everyone else. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> Who are you talking about? I know you came from a bad background. Amen. That's, uh, That's right. That no one wants to be a part of. A, a last thing that, that is like the scum of the earth. But God has said, Jesus has said, I can win with you. Come on. Yeah. He's All preaching. All you have to do is have faith in me. That's right. All you have to do is follow what I've given you to do. You remember in the beginning, I believe it was in chapter 6, he said he told Gideon, he called him almighty mighty man of valor. Amen. That's right. Amen. Gideon was somebody that was hiding in the wine press every <laughs> week, afraid, but had a call upon his life. Come on. Oh, yeah. Had an appointment upon his life. But he didn't feel like he was the one that should have been going about doing this mission. How about you? That's right. I've been there. He's preaching. Hey Amen. I'm still there. Definitely. All of us will have a Gideon moment. Some of us have experienced a Gideon moment already. Some of us are right in the middle of a Gideon moment. And right. some, amen, amen, if you haven't known, you're probably getting ready to begin your Gideon moment. Uh -oh. and today, I want to encourage each and every one of you, amen, don't run from your Gideon moment. Come on. Right. Stand forth. Woo. Step forth. Stand yes, sir. Strong and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. And watch God do miraculous things through you. Hallelujah. Yes, he sir. says, I can win with you. Yes. yes. I don't care what background or what nationality <laughs> or what race or creed or color. He said, I can win with you. My Amen. God. And what he said to each and every one of us today, name by name, Come on. number by number, he says, I can win with you. Come on, Joe. I can win with every That's last right. one of you. Thank you, Jesus. All I need is trumpets, pictures, and a torch. That's you right. See? Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Let's finish with that now. Thank you, All God. I need. Yes. All I need. Come on. 
Say it with me. All I need, all all I need, need is a trumpet, is a trumpet, trumpet picture, 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 and a torch. And a torch. All, I need, all, all I need is a trumpet, is a trumpet, a trumpet picture, 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 and a torch. And a torch. Watch this now. Finish to switch it up. All we need, all, all we need, need is some trumpets, is some, trumpets some, pictures, some pictures, and some torches. And some torches. And watch God. And watch God. God. Do the miraculous. Do the in and through my life. To God be the glory. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.